Under the leadership of our director, Steve Kelly and his direction, we created the first of its kind in the country registered apprenticeship program from the United States Department of Labor in fusion energy and engineering. Its first aim is, is its most important, which is to train uh, young people to provide those high skill level technicians uh, that we need to do our mission. You are working alongside all the other technicians and engineers and even researchers at the time. I first heard about the program in the last few months of my trade school at Mercer County Technical Schools. The lab has a mission that I can really stand behind and the complexity and the opportunity drew me in. I rotate between MG and FCPC, uh, which is motor generator, so it's a 750 ton motor generator set. I work on a wide variety of equipment, things from high voltage electrical substations and transformers to low voltage electronics and controls. We have various diagnostics that are installed on MSTXU. The sensors can monitor the temperature of, of the plasma that, that we're creating and uh, the conditions of the machine. I'm a generalist, so I work with different departments within IT. I work with the user services, networking systems, and cybersecurity team. A lot of this equipment is very specialized, so without that one-on-one -on -one training, it's really hard to give someone who has no experience, which was myself when I started, and get them to a point where they can go conduct work independently. The lab becomes more efficient, um, more productive, and so it's an, it's an overall great benefit for the lab. It's not an internship, it's a job. And it's a job with so many benefits. Schooling, that's a big benefit and a big reason why I chose to work here. Being attached to academia, you know, it just creates a, a, an atmosphere of learning and, and, and exchange of information. Everyone here is so kind and encouraging. They're very smart, very patient. A mentoring relationship is really important because this is not what can be taught in a classroom. This has to be taught in a machine shop, when you're welding, when you're inside a vacuum vessel fixing something. And so a close one-on-one -on -one relationship is key to this program. I was asked to become a mentor and I felt that being a senior technician and being here as long as I have, I had a lot to offer. I learned certain things and I feel as if I have the responsibility to pass that on to the next generation. Being able to transfer knowledge that I've gained to that individual to help them grow both professionally and personally. They seem to enjoy the work that they're doing and they're helping not just PPL, but the nation as a whole. 